Hello. Welcome to Internet Roundup. That's Josh. He's being coy. I'm Chuck, and I'm, uh, well, I'm not being coy. You're being Faye. I'm, what is Faye? It's coyish, I think, but a little more coquettish. It's coquettish coyness. <laughs> you know a word I hate when people use? Coquettish? Twee. Oh, yeah, I'm not big on that. No. Faye is giving an impression of vague unworldliness. Live updates. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, right. wait. Faye is having supernatural powers of clairvoyance. Really? So I misused Faye just now, big time. Because yeah. I wouldn't call you clairvoyant. You know what else you've been misusing lately? Should we talk about this? Literal? <laughs> have I been misusing Bleeding it? edge. Have I been misusing it? Yeah, have you said it like two or three times in re- recent shows? Isn't that like cutting edge times no. 10? That's leading edge. What's bleeding edge? Bleeding edge is specifically refers to technology that could be so advanced it's dangerous. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah. But I have been misusing it. Yeah, you'd say like, you know, this girl is a, the, on the bleeding edge of fashion. Right. Huh. <laughs> well, thank you for correcting me. I love that. Well, uh, welcome to Internet Roundup. <laughs> this has been the most awkward start in history. No, I'm not sure. No? It's gotten worse? No, we've definitely done more awkward than this. Let's talk about the Bible. Okay. The uh, King James Bible in, in particular. Yeah, the earliest known draft of the King James Bible, uh, they say, has been found. Yeah, and a guy at uh, Cambridge University, right? Yes. Um, his name is uh, Jeffrey Ann Miller. He's a historian, and he was looking to make his career, and he may have just done it. Yeah. Um, supposedly, he was going through a notebook looking at a note. I guess it was already listed and known. Yeah. And it was a notebook of one of the translators of the King James Bible. Oh, okay. Was that the deal? Yeah, his name was Samuel Ward. Right. So it was an already known notebook, but no one understood what was in this notebook. Yeah, like they had gone over it and said, well, this looks to be uh, not what it was. They said it was like a line-by-line interpretation of the King James Bible is how they listed it. You bet it was. Right. Not only that, it was this guy's note, Samuel Ward, one of the translators working on the King James Bible. Uh, It was his notes his draft basically Mm -hmm. on the sections he was working on. So what that means is they found a draft of the King James Bible. And by they, I mean, Jeffrey Allen Miller, who again, a historian whose career was just made. Yeah. If it turns out to be true, which is the cool thing. Yeah. uh, The King James Bible was Mm -hmm. published in 1611 and, uh, this dates between 1604 and 1608. Mm -hmm. So that checks out. Sure. So far. Yeah, I think it's interesting that in, it was in the 1980s when it was originally found and I guess just mislabeled and filed again. Right. Just sitting there. Yeah. But I mean, also, I feel bad for Jeffrey Allen Miller that he was like, well, let me go through this old notebook and see right. what I can find. <laughs> and he hit the jackpot. But it makes you wonder how many old notebooks he's gone through where he got nothing. Yeah. You know, except maybe paper cuts and then infections from like several hundred year old mold. Sure. You know? On the paper. Yeah. Uh, so apparently four dozen translators worked on the King James Version. And uh, this new manuscript is pretty cool for them because they uh, they say it actually shows and gives insight to how they translated it. Right. Like the process behind it. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting because I think some people, I don't know if everyone's aware that the Bible was cobbled together by lots and lots and lots of people over the years. Sure. And, and yeah, you don't necessarily think of a, a Bible being translated and interpreted by yeah. those translators. Yeah. Um, and uh, it very much was. Apparently, the King James Version was um, uh, commissioned by, appropriately enough, King James yeah. to help back up <laughs> the Church of England over the Puritans. It came That's in right. a very specific time, and it was basically made under the king's patronage for a specific reason. Mm-hmm. But since then, it's become um, a, a very revered book, even outside of religious circles. Yeah. The New York Times points out that it um, it came up with uh, phrases like fight the good fight. Yeah. Salt of the earth. Get out in front of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop in the bucket. Low-hanging fruit. Right. Yeah. Um, Java storm. Yeah. <laughs> Java storm was, I think that was an exodus, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the and the King James is, um, to many Christians, the only version that they will, um, look at. Right. So it's pretty important to a lot of people. Yeah, very much so, and they may have found the earliest draft of it. He said that it it might not be 
on the same level as finding an original draft of an unknown Shakespearean play, yeah, but that it is getting up toward there. Yeah, I, I kind of thought it would be reverse. I don't know. For some reason, I thought finding the original Bible would be, or the original King James would be more important. Yeah. Guess not. Apparently not. Not Not in this secular world. All right. And now we move on to our very own website, to uh, an image gallery that Josh cobbled together that is... um, (laughs) Deeply uh, disturbing. It is deeply disturbing. (laughs) It is... um, What's it called? Is it 70? 70 vintage Halloween costumes that were really creepy. Yeah. And every single one of these... Our nightmarish. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. I mean, like, you can just dive in anywhere. Like, for example, 10 is um, particularly creepy to me. Two little girls wearing dresses. And um, oh, look at that. They've got one has a jack lantern on her head. The other <laughs> one is, I don't know, maybe like a boxy owl of some sort, but they both are there to haunt you. Yeah. Well, just the next one. Look at 11. There was a time where the standard mask was just this. <laughs> Faceless thing with eye holes. No. And I have no idea. So off putting. Oh boy. And these are things that like these people's moms made for them to to go trick or treat and look at fourteen. Like that child looks like he's being held for ransom. Yeah. But yeah. Those, those are just probably his parents are like, All right, let's go out and trick or treat. Right. And when when the children like these showed up dressed like this on your doorstep, by God, you gave them whatever they asked for. <laughs> you didn't want any tricks. Man. Yeah. I would love to, do uh, you want to be the creepiest find ever would be to find an old uh, costume warehouse from oh, like yeah. the 1920s? With all the dust and everything. <laughs> yeah, just, with oh. just this stuff everywhere. Man alive. Yeah, so it's pretty fun to just kind of go through this. It'll get you in the Halloween spirit. It'll also make you wish that you were dead. Absolutely. Look at number 31. Wow. <laughs> they, I don't know if it was laziness or what, or if they just thought this looks neat. <laughs> or this will scare future generations. <laughs> uh, but they, they're doing great work. Yeah, they are. Because it definitely scares me today. So hats off to you, moms of days of yore. Oh my God, you were look doing at some good stuff. <laughs> Number 35. What about... Um, look at that guy. What about 21? 21 <sighs> scares the bejesus out of me. Um, these little kids that are just coming for you, dressed as skeletons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... Well, we could do this all day, Yeah. but what we'd encourage you to do is go to uh, StuffYouShouldKnow.com and just uh, Google Stuff You Should Know, 70 uh, Creepy Halloween Costumes, and prepare to not sleep at night. <laughs> uh, that is Internet Roundup for this week, and we'll be back next week, right? Yeah, for you sure. sure. You going to be here? I'll be here. Okay, then I'll be here. We'll, we'll be on the bleeding edge of the Internet. <laughs> That's right. Good day. <laughs> <laughs>